So welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be starting our FIFA career mode. I'm not going to be playing a match today, but I'm going to be going through the setup and what I've done to try and make it sort of a realistic playthrough. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we will start a new career, absolutely. Uh, and for those of you who don't know who I'll be doing it with, I mean you'll probably find out from the thumbnail, but we are doing it with the Evertonials uh, this season. You know, they're not a bad team, they've got some quality about them. Uh, but they're not, you know, title contenders as such. So let's have a look here. Based on your FIFA, blah, blah, blah. 30% increase to your starting transfer budget. Um, no, let's keep it realistic, to be honest. One top global scout in will do that one. That's nothing major. But we'll leave the, the transfer sort of realistic. So here's all the teams. Obviously, United have a huge budget. 132 million. City, 129. I mean, even less. They've got 56 million after their... Phenomenal season last season. Everton have 56 as well. So a decent amount. Uh, they want some domestic success. They really want some brand exposure. And the rest of them are medium. So it's not too bad. I mean, it really was between them and West Ham United, who have actually got more money at 69 million. Uh, they're looking for domestic and uh, a bit of brand exposure as well. Low on the financial. But yeah, we're going to do it with the Evertons because that's who won the slight vote uh, when I did it on Twitter. So, Mr. TTB is what we'll go by. That's fine. TTB. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I don't really have anyone here that looks like myself. So, we'll just go for a youngish manager. Uh, this dude. Yeah, he looks alright. Suit, shirt and tie. We'll give him a shirt and tie. We'll say we're English as well. That looks good. So, we're going to be playing on Legendary, giving that a go. Half length will start with the six minutes, but I'm probably going to tweak it as well. Now, squads used, I'm not using download latest. I'm using current customized, because I've gone in there and I have edited tactic-wise, or tactic-wise, every single Premier League team. Uh, let's go in here and have a look. So, I know we're not going to be in this. Reseed those, the Champions League. Looks good. And uh, the European League. Let's reseed those. There's United right there. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, no, we don't want to go back, but we will save it. So, disable first summer transfer window. No, we'll keep that fine. Uh, that looks good to me. Okay, so pre-season tournament invite. Congratulations, Mr. TTB. Um, you know what? I'm not going to worry about any of this. I'm not going to worry about pre-season matchups and everything else because I just want to get straight into the season. No one really cares about them too much. I'm sure you guys just want to see the Premier League action uh, and all that fun stuff. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put some training regimens in place. Someone like Lukaku would be perfect because uh, we've got to get his stats up. Keep possession. What do we want to be good at? Well, obviously, he wants to be good at finishing. He's already pretty good at it. Uh, beat your man looks pretty good there. Second drill. Let's do a midfielder. Barkley, another player that always likes to improve a lot. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, chance creation's fine. Let's have a look at some centre-backs. Funes Mori isn't a bad defender. I mean, he's certainly young, so we might as well get his stats up as well. No point doing the uh, older boys. I mean, what is the point? There is no point. Uh, Delefeu is a pretty speedy player. Also, yeah, let's do him. He's got a lot of pace about him. And, uh, yeah, I think his long pass could be a, something good to get up just because he's a winger, wants to whip those balls in. Oh, let's do Beshik in the middle. Another player that very young and uh, could be quite good, quite useful. So there we go. So we'll simulate all of those. I never bother doing them myself. What is the point? It takes far too long to do it all. So there we go. We'll get that rolling. Okay, so as I said, I have gone in here and tweaked every single Premier League team um, over at Operation Sports is the website I've used. So every Premier League team has had their tactics tweaked. That's why I'm using the customizable ones. 
Uh, if we go to season and settings, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using as my customized gameplay sliders. Now these can change. I'm using Operation Sports ones, uh, so we're going to give those a bash. So sprint speed, this is all the same for user and CPU, as you can see, exactly the same. So sprint speeds are 50, accelerations are 49. Uh, shot error, we're going to put down or up, should I say, to a 53. Uh, let me just see what they've said about sort of the tactics themselves. Uh, obviously, you want a little bit of bit of error. There has to be a bit of error. I was everything's going to be on target, and, and what is the point? Pass error 55, a little bit up as well, purely for the fact that, you know, players have to make mistakes every now and then. You can't have 100% accuracy all the time. Shot speed's been upped just a fraction. Uh, gives you, you know, more chance to score outside the box, etc. Uh, pass speed has been dumbed down to a 45. Uh, will allow the ball to stay in the air a little longer and also allow more control build-ups for both CPU and myself. Injury frequency, we're going to keep the same. Now, injury severity, I've dropped down to a 5. The reason being, uh, they found that if you do this, basically, a lot of players won't leave the game as much because there seems to be a lot of injuries where players get knocked and then they go off the field and they don't come on. Uh, this will allow them to get an injury but come back on the field and voila. Now they have put down the goalkeeping ability to 15. Uh, they said it had to be done because the keepers in FIFA 17 are ridiculous. They will save everything. At 15, this is reduced, uh, but some animations like the two-handed saves still occur. Reducing the effectiveness of those saves is key, especially because the compressed lines make for tough chances to occur in the first place. So that's what we have. If it's far too easy and I'm scoring a lot of goals, I will up it up. Uh, but I want to kind of keep it realistic at some point. Markings are 54. Uh, and they've tested it a lot and they feel that it's a good variety and balance between the two. Run frequency, keeping that on a 50. 58 uh, for the old line height. Um, so, you know, keep players moving up and down the field. 40 for line length. A 65 for line width. A bit of spreadage across the board. Fullback positionings, default 50. Uh, power bar, you can have whatever you want. And first touch control error is a 55. Um, basically, they, they had it higher over there on the sliders, but they put it down because there was too much bobble on the field. Uh, this has slowed it down a little bit, but still, there's going to be a little bit of movement when you pass the ball. So that is the sliders, ladies and gentlemen, we are going for for our playthrough. Okay, can be They can be changed at any point, but we'll start with that. Visuals, blah, blah. Camera, I'm playing on telebroadcast. Uh, the height of about seven zoom all the way out. I think it looks pretty good uh, And we're gonna start with six minute halves may change it playing on normal speed uh, after a while So we look at the inbox they said for shirt sales 68 million is what they want uh, From player shirts while this shouldn't be your deciding factor when buying players during the transfer to keep in mind that bringing in popular high players blah blah Okay, well, that's ridiculous. That's a lot of money uh, 68 million uh, visions and expectations. Well, let's have a look what they want. So, qualify for the uh, Euro League. Certainly doable. Uh, the Emirates FA Cup reached the semi-final. And uh, Premier League finishing a Champions Cup place. Current position 6th. Okay. Well, how does that work? Qualify for the Euro League. And then they want me to finish in the Champions League. So, they want me to do both. Okay. Sign two players of potential of over 75 to your U squad. Increase that overall by at least 10 points. That's a short-term one. Uh, Gain 68 million, as I said, in shirt sales. Qualify for Euro Champions League. And within two seasons, increase the club's worth of your club. Uh, increase the club's worth of your club by 15%. So this is going to be a little bit interesting this year because they didn't have this last year. I'm already a little bit nervy as to, as to what's going to go on. Uh, but let's just plow through here. And advance the time. We're going to play any of these games, ladies and gentlemen. We are just going to dive straight into the Premier League. But do I want to buy players or not? That's the question. I don't really know. I'm definitely not going to sell Romelu Lukaku, even if it is for 39 million uh, to Manchester United. No way, Jose. He is a pretty beastly player up the top. So, yeah, you need to let me know. Should I buy players? Should I not? Should I leave it default and just go straight at it? Although I do need to get some players, as you can see, uh, with uh, shirt shirt sales coming in. There we go. That's the word. Uh, Tom Cleverley. Hmm. I mean, I 
don't know. Yeah, we'll reject it for now. I may sell him. Do I really need Cleverly? Not really, to be honest. But yeah, this video was just to get it started, to show you guys what I'm using as sliders and everything else. Uh, international offers I'm not really going to focus about at all at this point in time. Joe Robles in goal. He's not a bad keeper, but I want to keep him at the moment just in case something happens to me other keeper. One thing I will look at is possibly loaning out some players. We go to sell players. Let's have a look here. So we've got some players out on loan. Stecklenberg's He's a bit old, isn't he? Well, I'm 33 is not old for a keeper. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's have a look here. I mean, Gareth Barry. Do I need Gareth Barry? Am I going to be using? Probably not, to be honest. I'm going to add him to the transfer list. I just I don't need a player that old in the team, to be honest. It's too much. Uh, McCarthy's. I mean, McCarthy can play instead of him. And he's valued way higher. Connolly. 18 year old probably won't play so we'll stick him on the loan list Folds another player stick out on loan Browning a little bit better so we'll put Holbe on the whole gate sorry on loan so we have Seamus Coleman got Baines on the wings I think that's fine for now I will look into to some players to possibly snap up and bolster the squad. But for now, that is fine. We're in July at the moment, so, so we've still got a bit of time until the start of the season. Actually, you know what? One thing I could do is do a little bit of training, which I'm not doing. Um, Callum Connolly, okay. We've come in for a bit of a loan deal. We'll accept it. That's fine. You can go out there, son. Get a bit of playtime out of your belt. Maybe improve your stats. And come back an absolute beast. Okay, so we'll load up the last previous training session. Get our boys up. Stamina's up for Beshik. Very nice. Okay, we've had a bit of a bid for Niasi. Um, no, I don't want to sell you. Yeah, I probably could. How much game time is he going to get? Probably not a whole lot, but we'll keep him for now. The Manchester City have bought Mertens for 27 million. Interesting. So if we have a look at our lineup, where do we need to bolster? Well, Stecklenburg, I mean, against Robles, if we have a look at them, they're pretty much the same. Better kicking for Stecklenburg, as well as diving, but Robles has better handling. Positioning's the same, reflexes are pretty similar. So I could bolster there. The thing about Williams and Jagielka is they're old. They are old as tits. 33 Jagielka with a... Um, what's his sprint speed? A 68. Pretty bad. Williams is 72. It's not as bad. So... I don't know, maybe Seamus Coleman's decent, Baines decent as well, although Baines is getting on, 31, still pretty solid. Balassi, 27-year-old, got bags of speed, Morales is decent. I mean, I think Barry will probably change for McCarthy, if I'm being honest. Barkley and Lukaku. Maybe, you know, a left or right winger, I don't know, maybe a I mean, guy who's pretty good, or gay, whatever you want to call him. Decent midfielder, isn't he? I mean, they got a decent side, Everton. I don't need too many changes, but minimal one somewhere. Maybe another forward to rest Lukaku when he's not down the gym hitting on the ladies. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Um, I have used a custom tactic for them from uh, where I got all the other tactics, but that is our side. Let me know if you think I need any other players. We're going to stop the video right there today. This was just to show you guys that we are off and running Teams have been tweaked. Sliders are there. We're going to hopefully have a good, solid playthrough. But let me know in the comments. Any players you feel I should snap up or not? Or should I just dive straight in to uh, the old Premier League? Let's have a quick look before we do head off at my uh, calendar. So there is a very boring July, August. We get things underway with a tough game against Tottenham at home. 
Uh, they'll be playing West Brom, Stoke, Sunderland, Middlesbrough. Okay, so we have some relatively easy games coming up. Gets a little bit tougher in October. Uh, November, we face Chelsea. December is going to be a tough one. Man United, Arsenal, and Liverpool. So, yeah, some big games there. But we have a relatively nice start to the season, uh, which is good. But we'll be back very, very shortly. I hope you guys did enjoy this quick look at what's going on. Uh, I'll leave some links in the description for you guys to check out those sliders if you want to give them a bash. Recommendations always welcome. But until next time, take care. Yeah.